All right, day three, we got to get out the plant eventually for obvious reasons, you know. We got to hit plant. Yeah, well, and don't forget um, Jefferson, sexy team as uh, you can possibly have. Quentin Williams, Andre yeah. Davis. Uh, well, speaking of Williams, we got to get out the Robinson, you know. Frankie, they're, they're Ruben got, Gonzalez. They're Blake, bound for right? big things. There's another school that's usually pretty good, but. Um, I think we've hit them all. Yeah, you know what I think we have. I think we're good. Yeah. So you came to the source where they stay giving more than a ticker with some scores. Well, who you see when you need that fix? We got preps on lock with that rewind remix. Joey, we kid about us not knowing about Armwood, but clearly the last couple of years it seems uh, playing with the state championships, uh, Jefferson, Robinson, maybe it's because they're all in South Tampa, but they've kind of become these sexy, high-powered offenses. Armwood is, you know, you kind of still get the sense they're just more workmanlike, but this is still a very good team and, and could be the best team in the county this year. Armwood is still Armwood, no question about it, Cody. You come out to one practice and see the athletes they run out here, there's no question they're going to be right in the thick of the Class 4A state championship race. That's what I'm talking about, let's go! Coach Sean Callahan, and I will quote him, our big thing is we're going to be a physical running team that throws at will. So you're combining some elements of the recent Hawks spread gun formation and the old triple option power running game without the triple option. They're going to line up in the eye. They're going to put a tight end. They're going to put Josh Grady, the quarterback, behind center. And they're going to throw and run with Matt Jones. They're going to try to do both those things. Power, power, power. Let's talk about some of the things that we've seen out here at practice today. This is uh, day three of uh, spring football drills. The pads go on tomorrow. But Josh Grady, right off the bat, beefed up. Beefed up, I would say, by about 10 pounds. So is Matt Jones, the running back, up to 216. I think uh, Josh Grady throws a very nice, catchable ball, not a rifle arm like some of the guys we've seen come out of Hillsborough County in recent years, but throws a very nice ball. Chris Taylor leaving in the offseason, the offensive coordinator for Jesuit, was a, a big, huge story, but does it impact this team that much? We'll find out. Evan Davis's replacement was a backup quarterback on both Armwood State Championship teams. Callahan says the players really like him, but we'll see when the lights come on. We'll see if it's uh, Evan Davis calling all the plays or Callahan helping him out a little bit.